What up YouTube? It's your boy PHAT Fat Outdoors and we're at it again over here at Lake Minden. Got my poles in the water. But right now what we're about to get into, we're about to do Canteen Cup Tuesday. And today we're doing red beans and rice. That's it. Red beans and rice. Creole style. So come along. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, well, first things first. Today we playing with the little 21st Amendment. It's called Tasty IPA, real good stuff. So we're gonna get that going. And then next we're gonna brown our meat, get our garlic. We got, look at this. We got the Creole Trinity already chopped up. That's celery, bell pepper, and onion. Got our garlic. So we're gonna chop up some garlic. We're trying to go whole hog. We're going with dried beans and we're doing rice again. Got a little bit of smoked sausage that we're working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff prepped up and fire up the sterno and we'll be right back at you. Now that we got all the prep done, go ahead and put just a little bit of oil in here. Help my sausage not stick. I apologize if it's windy. Got my sterno going. Let's see, there we go. Get the pot going. Got that Hillshire Farm smoked sausage. Just gonna dump that in there. Brown our meat. This wind is gonna be something else. But it sounds like it's doing pretty good. Dog's on a chain, dog's kinda of getting excited. We're just gonna check on the sausage. This sterno is burning hot today with this wind. Looks like it's got hot spots, but That'll be all right. Just don't want to scorch the bottom of my pot. So now our sausage is browned. See if you can take a look, see at that. Try not to burn myself on a sterno again, but now my meat's browned. I got a little bit of browning on the bottom. We're just gonna go ahead and stick that in there. Next thing I want to do is I want to add the Creole Trinity again. This is celery, bell pepper, and onion. We're going to get that to saute down and we're going to add the garlic just a little bit later only because right now this thing's burning really hot and I don't want to burn my garlic. So get that on there that sausage and bell pepper, not sausage and bell pepper. Get that Creole Trinity, that, that celery, that bell pepper, that onion going, and we'll be right back with you. So now that our vegetables have had a little time to sweat down and release some moisture, I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic. It also, what it did was loosen up the um, little stuff from the sausage on the bottom, so that's all loosened up. My pan's not scorched. Smells really good. We got some visitors, so I'm gonna try to raise my voice a little bit more so y'all can hear me, wind and everything. I'm just gonna let that continue to, continue to, continue to, uh, I'm gonna, uh, continue to, uh, now the bell ringing too. I might have a fish. Continue to uh, sweat down. That's the word I'm looking for. Brother looking for the word sweat down. So that's what we're going to let it do. 
sweat down a little bit, and we'll be right back once again. I'm going to stop saying we'll be right back because obviously you know we're going to be right back. So while we're waiting on our vegetables, um, I want to talk about these beans. Now, I'm using dried beans for, for this recipe. First time I'm trying dried beans. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking trying to cook in a canteen cup of dried beans. I, I did this recipe earlier this week at home and I used canned beans and what happened was because I'm trying to let my vegetables really cook down, I'm trying to let all those flavors get together with the sausage and whatnot, the beans broke down and turned to mush. So I figured, hey, I should use dried beans. Other thing is normally I would soak my beans, but uh, I don't have time to soak them. It cooks a little bit hotter, so I'm thinking that if I pour these beans in, just fill them up with water, and just keep letting them cook, keep adding water to it, they'll cook down. So that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try dried beans in a canteen cup and see what happens. So I'm checking on my vegetables. They sweated down pretty good. Made a little water, that's all right. Loosened up everything on the bottom of the pot. That's what I really wanted. Now, what we're gonna do is put our sausage in. Let me just stop playing with this spoon and use my gloves. That's what I got them for. Put our sausage in. Then, we're gonna put these dry beans in there. I think I got three quarters of a cup or maybe a cup of dry beans is what I'm using. Yeah, it was a full cup. And that's gonna be a full pot. So, this is the hard part. I'm gonna try and get this to boil. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit right now so I can make sure the vegetables and everything get off the bottom. The sausage gets in there mixed up. I'm gonna season my beans right now. So that way, the reason I season my beans now is that way when it starts to absorb the water, it'll absorb the salt. So that's that slap your mama. We're gonna add water. We're just gonna go ahead and really fill this can up. Cover the beans real good. Give enough head space for it to boil. Now, just waiting and adding water as we need it. Stir it up one more time. I'll taste it in a minute. Maybe season it up a little bit more. But that's it, we're just gonna let this roll. Then we'll get our rice going once the beans get closer to being done. I wanted to bring y'all in so you could see the pot. Um, yeah, this is gonna take some time, it's Sterno. I went ahead and I ordered a Trangia. So hopefully the trangia will get to a boil quicker, but you can see all that sausage, that onion, celery, garlic, um, that seasoning. So again, we're gonna let that go ahead and come to a boil, and then we'll see what happens with it. Go ahead and put my lid on. Look at that, I'm putting my lid on back. All right, put the lid on. See you in a bit. All right, while we're all waiting for a boil, let's see if I can let you see this. The beans are really starting to swell up so they're doing good soaking up some of these juices sausage is doing good letting off quite a bit of grease what I want to do is what I forgot to do just want to add a little bit of this Louisiana red dot let those beans soak up some of that since I don't have any andouille sausage no hot link Give it a little heat, a little spice. Just using regular smoked sausage. Can't beat Creole red beans without some heat. So that's what we're doing. And add just a little bit more salt to taste it. Use just a little bit more of that slap your mama. So put that on there. Stir it in real good. Make sure my bottom's not scorching. Yeah, those beans are really soaking up this water. So that's good. I mean, this is a, let me see if I can let you see this. That's, that's a full, full, full pot of beans right there. Probably should have used a half cup. 
Live and learn. We're swelling up quite a bit. This is gonna take some time. We'll just let this cook down. So we're gonna put the lid back on it. Okay, I just wanted to bring you in again so you can see it. I obviously used too many beans, so I used a cup of beans. I'd probably go down to a half cup or maybe three quarters of a cup of beans because they're swelling up big, but I mean, it looks beautiful. It tastes great. It's doing really well right now. Just want to get it to a boil, hopefully get a little simmer going. I don't know what just happened. This always happened. Stupid thing keeps turning off. But anyway, the beans are looking good. I want them to swell up a little bit. Hopefully they'll go ahead and um, burst, get a nice simmer going. Just let this simmer for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. See what happens. So that's all I want you to do, just to kind of take a look at it. Smelling delicious, except for Sterno. So um, we got a really good boil going. Well, not a good boil, but a really nice simmer. Uh, those beans, they're swelling up a lot. And so I'm to the brim. It's gonna be hard to add water to let them finish cooking down. Um, what I might do, if you see that pot in the background, um, I know it's supposed to be canteen cup Tuesday and all that, you gotta use a canteen cup. Well, I started it in a canteen cup, but I might swap it out for that other pot just so I don't mess up these beans because these beans, they're tasting delicious. They're tasting excellent. And so my recommendation, you know, live and learn, I would adjust this to maybe a half a cup of beans rather than a full cup of beans because a full cup of beans swole up like crazy. So that's what we're doing. We might have to switch it out to a pot, finish it off. I'll still do my rice in a canteen cup, but um, hope you all enjoying the video. Look at it, check it. It looks good. All right, my pot's simmering. It's doing really good. But if you look at this, I could barely stir it. It's all bean and sausage and that good stuff. But there's hardly no liquid in it and my beans are still needing to absorb more liquid. So it looks like the backup pot is coming. I'm gonna try and let it ride a little bit longer, but I can't add any water to this. And so that's my dilemma. I can't add water to it. So uh, hopefully the beans will soak up some more water We'll see what happens, but man, man oh man. Look at the grease on top of that pot. I don't know if you can see it, but it is good. These beans are gonna have so much flavor. There's just like cooking in your kitchen. Bell pepper, celery, that's starting to cook down. It looks delicious. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the video anyway. We're gonna be canteen in a pot Tuesday or something funny, but yeah. This is rocking. Hopefully I don't have to change out the sterno. Probably gonna have to do that too. Well, believe it or not, but um, I might just be able to keep going in the canteen. I was able to get some more water in, cover up the beans really good. So, yeah. We still on, it's still Canteen Cup Tuesday. It ain't canteen in the pot. It's Canteen Cup Tuesday. We just letting this ride. So we were able to keep it in the canteen. Man, it's coming together nice. I gotta let y'all see this. You know what? I was able to keep the beans in the can. They're starting to burst. Make that good gravy. It's doing really, really good. But I did this the other night, like I said. I did it the other night. And it was good. But man, there is something to be said about real beans. That's real bean gravy, not canned. Real beans and um, man, if y'all could taste this. This is delicious. I mean, it's real deal. And it is like cooking in your kitchen, I'll tell you that because um, I boiled my beans for a long time, and this is my second can of Sterno. I had to change out the Sterno because it was going, but hopefully by the time this can of Sterno is done, um, we'll be ready. I'll probably have to finish the, 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 the rice on this, my Peak One Coleman. 
So that's what I'll probably finish the rice on. A lot of people out here right now, so hopefully it's not too loud for you. Hopefully you can hear me good, but man, we are cooking red beans and rice outside on a picnic table. That's what we're doing, and I'm excited. At first I was a little nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to pull this off with these real beans. My only advice would be don't use a cup of beans, man, but if you use a half a cup of beans or you use three, even three quarter cup of beans and soak them first, if you soak these beans overnight, you know you're backpacking or you're camping or whatever, you know you're gonna be um, using these beans, you soak them overnight, you get, you're gonna have something. Let me just see. Take a look. Look at it. That's Creole red beans and rice. I'm trying to burn myself with this sternum. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's really good. Did I say that it's good? All right, I wanna show you guys a little trick on um, what I do to make the gravy. Now that the beans are getting soft, what you wanna do is mash them up against the edge. You wanna kinda mash up some of those beans. Just like if you were making refried beans maybe, but mash the beans up against the edge of the pot. That's gonna help it thicken you don't want to mash up all of them. You're not trying to make mush, but you do want to mash some of them. That way your gravy gets nice and thick. We're doing real good right now. So I'm just mashing up some of the beans. Just on the side of the pot. You can see they're getting soft. They're starting to burst. Now look, look at this. You can start to see how it's gonna thicken up. So, yeah, hang out, we doing it. Man, that's good. I'm impressed. If, if, if y'all can't figure out that I'm impressed, I'm impressed, because I did it again. Yeah, I'm bragging, I did it again. Boy cooking outside. All right, I apologize, the sun's setting in the background, but the beans are coming along, along nicely. I'll open those up for a minute. See if you guys can see those. Look at my little stir stick. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to scorch the bottom. I use the stir stick, I can get everything off the bottom. So that's going, got a little scorch there. I shouldn't have neglected them too long, but it'll be all right. Oh man, this is just about ready. Look at that. That's looking good. Now, it's time to do the rice. So these beans, stir that bottom a little bit. They're soft, they're good. Not all of them are busting. Way better than with canned beans. So here, I've got three quarter cups of rice. It's just long grain rice. Throw that in there, and since I got three quarter cups of rice, I'm gonna use this, because this is warm water from Mate from this morning. Still warm. So I'm gonna use a cup and a half of water. It's a cup. That's a half cup. Still have enough sterno. So, go ahead and put this to the side just for a second. We're gonna go ahead and get our rice boiling. And we'll be right back. We having red beans and rice tonight. Okay, well I'm cheating a little bit. Um, got my rice on. I brought my rice on the Coleman Peak one to a boil. Then I brought it over here on the the sterno to let it simmer down. So that's what's going on right now. Got the rice, I'm gonna show you a little trick with rice that I've been learning. Works out really good. I also have my beans on the peak one, so that way they can still simmer down a little bit, make a little bit more gravy. We'll peek at them real quick. They're doing really good, yeah. Making a really good gravy, get a little bit of that extra moisture out of there. The rice, I want you to watch my rice pot. See what I'm doing with the rice pot. The rice pot, 
is going right now. Actually, with the wind, it seems to be doing pretty good. But usually what happens is if you watch that lid, it's starting to boil over. I just vent it. Do like that, let it keep going. That way, all the foam settles, continues to steam, does real good. That's the best way that I've found to do rice. Every time that foam starts to rise, starts to pop the lid, instead of letting it spill over, overflow, have drama, lower your flame, I just give it a little vent. Normally, cooking at home, you wouldn't want to do that. You want to keep your rice closed, but out here, it works perfectly. All right. Man, you gotta look at this. Perfect rice every time. That's the trick. Doesn't matter how you do it. Now I just let that sit. I'm gonna take this back. Look at those beans. I don't wanna spill it, but that's good. Give it a nice little stir. Oh man. Oh man. This is good stuff. Turn this burner off. Move that rice. I want you to see the gravy. You could see that. Oh, this sterno. Push that off to the side. But I know the sun's behind me. But if you could see that, look at that. That's real beans. Real deal. Look at that. That's real beans. Red beans and rice, Creole style. Cajun, however you want to call it. Say Grace, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, I don't want to eat dinner yet, but I want to do a little taste. Just messing with my nose. It's good stuff. Sausage, beans are tender. Oh my goodness, the gravy's thick. Hold up. Let's just put a little dash hot sauce right on top. Oh man. We cooking outside. Like we in the kitchen. <laughs> That'll make you slap your mama. good stuff. Creole red beans and rice, Canteen Cup Tuesday. That's how we doing it out here at Lake Mendon. Well, I hope y'all liked the video, Canteen Cup Tuesday again. Creole red beans and rice. Um, fat folk, always remember this. Get outside, enjoy life, and always have a lot of fun at it. P-H-A-T, Fat Outdoors. All right, so now that our vegetables have, um, what am I trying to say? God dog, GoPro stop video.